Hello, in this video, I want to show you how you can use Stable Diffusion, an API similar, a model similar to Midjourney in your Node.js app using the Replicate platform. And what Replicate is, is basically just a website where anyone can upload their models and have it available via an API. So you don't need to learn it locally. Now, um, Replicate does have some pricing, you can check it here, but um, it's really cheap and I think it's a good option if you want to have um, neat, stably generated, like AI generated images in your app. So how we integrate this is first of all, go to, just search up like, Replicate Stable Diffusion. Um, you search this up, once you search that up, you can open up this page, I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. And there's actually many stable diffusion models, but this is the more popular one with about 97 million uses of it. Now, how we actually use this is, first of all, you want to um, sign in and you can use GitHub to sign in. And once you're signed in, you will be able to run this model with an API. So you just click on API here, and now you will have some instruction here. So what you want to do is First of all, make a new project in your Visual Studio Code, or any IDE of your choice. I'm just going to make it uh, in a folder I'm called Stable, and put it in the Spinish folder, Stable Diffusion. And I spelled that wrong, but anyways, what you want to do is, first of all, make a new terminal. And in this terminal, you want to run npm init dash dash y and this will in initialize your project and once that's done you can run the install command which is npm install replicate once that's installed you need to export your api token and how you do this is just um copy this line first of all and make a new file called dot n and in this file just put this um line in and make sure to remove the export bit that it just included the export hook. And once you have that, what you can do is, well, we can just use this code for an example, basically. So make a file called index.js, and since we're not using um, ECMAScript, we're using just common.js, we want to in implement, um, import a bit differently, which would be, like, we want to use the file statement to import it. And I think the same. Yeah. So once that's imported, what you can do is so I don't know if it's like this. Yeah. So you don't you don't need to put those actually. So yeah, so once you imported it, what you can do is actually before that we need to install dot n. This is a package that will read this dot n file, and it's a really popular package. And how you use it is just you put file dot and dot config, and this will delete this dot n file, and make sure this variable is available. Now, once you've done all of that, um, this is the actual call. It's just await replicate dot run, and then this is the actual prompt. Now, let's see what the output we get from running this command. So to run this, just do no dot, assuming you have Node.js installed. Oh, and one thing we need to do is actually wrap this inside a function. Yeah, real quick. Okay, so you need to put this as sync function here so that um, it can it can actually wait for this completion to finish. That's actually running. And there's actually ways you can get logs of this, but once it's done, you'll get this URL, which is the link to the generated image. Which is this. Now, the vision of the paradise. This is the vision of the paradise. And this will change based on the prompt you give it. And you can also use a package like image downloader. And you can use packages like this to install, I mean, download this image to your folder so you can use it in your app. So the URL would just be um, output zero, the first index, and this would give the final image of the prompt.